get up, I gotta get going, I'm gonna see a friend of mine. He's round and he's fuzzy, I love him because he's just Pooh Bear, Winnie the Pooh Bear. Looking for fun, chasing some honey bees. Pooh Bear, I know he's out there. Rumbly tumbly, climbing a honey tree. But never ends for us, we're so adventurous. Feast every now and again. And when we're alone, and there's nobody home. begin our play, which we call The Legend of Sheriff Piglet. Me? Shh, not yet. <clears throat> Act 1. Our story begins. Ooh, gather round, set down a spell, listen to the tale that we're gonna tell. It's all about the rugged west and one who stands above the rest. Well, actually, he doesn't stand above the rest in the physical sense. Oh, you feather brain! Quit flapping your beak and sing! Nerves up steel, he knows no fear. He just laughs when danger's near. He's, He's the, the hero of the plains. And Sheriff Piglet, that's his name. Me? I don't want to be Sheriff. Ah, oh, that? Okay. <laughs> you probably won't get through the desert anyway. Desert? Water! Water! Honey! Honey! It's the end, I tell you! We're lost, fried in the desert sun! Uh, excuse me, uh... Scorched in the searing sands! We're... <laughs> parched in a waterless wasteland! We're... We're... Does anyone have a towel? Hello? Is anybody here? No! Uh, excuse us. Uh, pa pardon. Uh, uh, see there. Hey! Whoa there, you fairy doggy! I believe you're expecting us. We're in the play, you know. Better you than us. Run for your life! The gang of horse thieves is coming to town and we're clearing out! You best do the same. They're mighty aren't we? Oh dear. Perhaps we should tell the sheriff. Consider yourself told! Congratulations! You're now the official sheriff! Me? Sheriff? Uh, yep. And whoever sheriff has to shot them horse thieves. Really? Uh, where does it say that? Right there, in the legend of Sheriff Piglet. It's you. Me? I see lots of horses, but no thieves. You don't get the picture here, fellas. We're not horse thieves. We're horse thieves. Horses who steal things. Comprendo? 
Oh. Well, <laughs> in that case, we'll just run along. Hate to break it to you, chum, but we've got us a little problem. Aw, uh, you do? See, that badge makes you sheriff. And sheriffs and horse thieves don't get along. Right? And since I'm Nasty Jack, the world's meanest horse thief, I'm gonna have to trounce you. Trounce? Is that anything like... Bounce? Nah, let me show ya. <laughs> now that's bounce. <laughs> that's trounce. Would you have to trounce him if he weren't wearing the sheriff badge? Probably not. It's stuck. I guess it's Sheriff Tronson time. I don't suppose you'd be satisfied with a hug instead? Hmm. Nothing like hugs, huh? Hmm, how nasty can you get? Well, I say we stand and fight. I can teach this here villain a thing or three. Why, I... You got, got no, no chance, chance to stand and fight. You better stay in bed. You trounce you left. He'll trounce you right. And death dance, dance on, on your head. Uh, uh, p perhaps we should try to hide, uh, uh... You can try your best to hide, but remember what we said. He'll trounce you left. He'll trounce you right. And death dance on your head. Run! Run! We gotta run! You may think that you can run, but Jack's a thoroughbred. He'll trump you left, he'll trump you right, and tap on your head. Ah! What's the matter with him? Oh, well, obviously doesn't appreciate fine music. Ah! So, buckaroo, might you be the proprietor of this establishment? Stop, stop. No, 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 no. Then you must be a friend of the sheriff. And since I hate sheriffs... Okie dokie, boys. What would be? Root beers and banana splits all around. Prano! <laughs> What? No, Cherry. Uh, let me answer that by saying... Help! Rabbit's in trouble! Oh, please. Oh, what should we do, Pooh? You're Sheriff Piglet. You have to give us orders. Well then, I ordered you to think of something. Uh, uh, please, think, think. Think. I got it! I'll go in the front door and keep him occupied while you two go in the back door and rescue old Long Ears. What'll I do? Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> you stay here looking sheriffy. And uh, uh, when we're all set, you give the signal to go. I'll try. Go. Uh, go. Go. Uh, go. Now that's how you make a banana split. Ready? Uh, uh go go. Ay ay yippee whoopee yay! <laughs> I'm gonna rope you, honey, if you don't drop that bunny. Whatever you say. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't this working out nicely? No, not really. We're not gonna enjoy this, are we? Pardon. Excuse us. Pardon. Mm, well, that didn't work. Okay, hang on to your horse feathers. Now you're really gonna see something. Ha! <laughs> 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 huh, yourself. Ready? Pull. Pull. 
thanks for uncorking me. Though I kind of liked it in there. Hey, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no, will you stop me? Let go of me. Hey, that's my tail. Oh, no. no. Come on. Oh, wait. This is t -t 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 terrible. Could be worse. <laughs> See? Hey, boys, look who just dropped in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Got any threes? Go fish! What? <laughs> hey, Sheriff, it's Trumpson time. Freeze, if you please. <laughs> Aha! What are you? I am the mask bear. And this is my faithful steed. Hello. You are gonna try and stop me? What you got in there for brains? Stuffing, actually. You better reach for it, fur face. I got me a carton of ice cream and I'm not afraid to use it. What I call Sheriffin. Oh, I, I, I couldn't have done it without the Masked Bear and his faithful, uh, uh Steve? Why, they're, uh, they're gone. Oh, who was that Masked Bear? hi yo e <laughs> Away! <laughs> oh, bother. I'm gonna have to do something about that Masked Bear. Well, what are you doing? According to the play, it is the job of the sheriff to clean up the town. <laughs> We're helping. <laughs> yeah, boy. I'll bet that masked bear and his faithful steed ain't sweeping those sidewalks. I'm not so sure. You know, once you get used to it, this sheriff job isn't all that hard. Sure, as long as the masked bear's around. Telegram for the Masked Bear. Telegram for the Masked Bear. The Masked Bear isn't present presently, but we'll be happy to tell him when we see him. Okie dokie, it says... <laughs> Some sheriff. Oh, I better go get him out. I believe this is a job for the masked bear and his faithful steed. If you say so. Which, um, reminds me, Eeyore and I have to go uh, find some honey. Uh, how can you think of food at a time like this? I practice. <laughs> Yourself. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. 
<clears throat> Come on, Piglet, this is embarrassing. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, that wasn't so hard, was it? Ow! What was that? It's for you. Oh, there's a note. Oh, well, it says, uh, it's easy. It says, anybody could. <laughs> Christopher Robin! Yes? Uh, w would you read this to us? It's to Piglet, and it says, Dear Sheriff, Beyond the street at sundown, we're gonna have a showdown. The masked bear and his faithful steed are all tied up and can't be freed. So come prepared to meet your fate. Sincerely, Jack. And don't be late! I just remembered, I have a very important appointment. <laughs> Under my bed. But Piglet, you have to go face Nancy, Jack. Why? Because the town folks are depending on you. Oh, come on, old Piglet, old partner, old buddy. This showdown won't be so bad. Wouldn't be so bad. His name is Nasty Jack, not Friendly Jack or Perfectly Wonderful Jack. No, it's Nasty Jack. I'm not going out there alone. But Piglet, what about the play? Um, is there anything in the play about the masked bear saving me in the end? <laughs> As a matter of fact, there is. Well, if you're sure, okay. What? <laughs> what I tell you, you look like a million buckaroos. Now you can really stand up for yourself. Not necessarily. Well? <laughs> Mr. Nasty Jack, sir, as Sheriff of Rickety Gulch, I place you under arrest, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Seems there ain't nobody here thinks you can do that, Sheriff. I can too. Besides, the masked bear will s oh, uh, uh, save me in the end. <laughs> Waiting for the masked bear, huh? <laughs> Sing it, boys. The old masked bear's hands are tied, you'll never get to say goodbye. And Piglet, he's with Nasty Jack, no chance he'll be coming back. Last thing that he'll ever do is wonder what became... <laughs> Excuse me, but... Oh, <laughs> a music lover. Any last requests? Just one. Do you know how to untie us? No, but if you hum a few bars, we'll try to fake it. Nothing's going to stop us now. We're coming, Piglet! I really hope the masked bear gets here soon. Oh, Father! Better make your move, Sheriff. Whoa! Ooh, not a bad move. I really... Really hope the masked bear gets here soon. Here comes the masked bear with his faithful steed. Oh, once again they're on their way to help a friend in need. Oh, they'll be here in the nick of time, eager to assist. Jack is in for some surprise. Oops. Looks like they missed. What? That's not in the play. Here we go again. Them's the brakes, Binky. Looks like you're all out of help. No masked bear, no friends, no nothing. It's just you and me. Uh, maybe, Mr. Nasty Jack, but even though I didn't want to be, I'm sheriff. And a sheriff has to protect people and be polite and, and, and clean up the town and, uh, and, and stop bad guys from doing no gooding around here and, uh, so there. <laughs> oh, 
You done? Yes. Then it's definitely trouncing time. <gasps> now look what you done. The badge fell off. You know what this means? I'm not sheriff anymore? You're not sheriff anymore! So I can go now? Oh, sure, fine. That's just peachy, isn't it? Now I can't even trounce you. What in the blue blazes am I supposed to do? Maybe uh, you uh, could be the sheriff? Honest? You mean it? I always wanted to be sheriff. All righty, Pilgrim. I'm the sheriff now, and I'm really gonna clean up this town. Comprendo! <laughs> To show our appreciation, we hereby present you with the Rickety Gulch Genuine Hero Award. Yeah. Hooray! Hi -yo, hi -yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bother. What's the rush? The play's over. Besides, we're probably headed in the wrong direction. And so the legend has been told of Sheriff Pig, brave and bold. But another story comes to mind, and I do believe we still have time. It's all about a gopher and an owl. Ah, hey, hey, ah, 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 <laughs> well, I say. just happens to belong to a boy named Christopher Robin. Like most small boys, Christopher Robin has toy animals to play with. And they live together in a wonderful world of make-believe. But his best friend is a bear called Winnie the Pooh, or Pooh for short. Now Pooh had some very unusual adventures, and they all happened right here in the Hundred Acre Wood.
natural wonders, but none was more beautiful than a tiny stream running through the forest. This particular stream had a very long way to travel. And by the time it reached the edge of the forest, it had grown up so it was almost a river. Being grown up, it said to itself, there is no hurry. We shall get there someday. Now crossing the river at its most peaceful spot was an old wooden bridge. It was a familiar spot to Winnie the Pooh, for he would often wander there, doing nothing in particular and thinking nothing in particular. But on the most recent of these excursions, something took his mind off of nothing. Hmm, this is a very good fur cone, and something ought to rhyme to it. Think, think, think. Now, fur cones belong in trees, up high with the buzzing bees. But this one I found, down on the ground, freed by a gentle breeze. <laughs> Oh, Barbara, I suppose I shall have to find another one. Pooh had every intention of getting another fur cone, but the river was slipping away so peacefully beneath him that he began to slip away with it. That's funny. I dropped it on the other side, and it came out on this side. Hmm, I wonder if it would do it again. I wonder which will come out first. Well, the big one came out first, and the little one came out last, which was what Pooh wanted. I did? Yes, Pooh, and that was the beginning of a game called Pooh Sticks. Which I invented. Now, one day, Pooh and Piglet, Rabbit and Roo were all playing Pooh Sticks together. But why call it Pooh Sticks? I thought I started with fur cones. You did, Pooh, but sticks were easier to mark. Oh, yes. Now I remember. <clears throat> now, one day, Pooh and Piglet, Rabbit and Roo, were all playing Pooh Sticks together. Uh, all right. Now, now, the first stick to pass all the way under the bridge wins. Now, on your marks, get set. Roo, we must all start together. Oh, dear. Now, where was I? Oh, oh yes. On your marks, get set. I can see mine! I win! I win! Can you see yours, Paul? No, I expect my stick's stuck. <sighs> they always take longer than you think. Oh, I can see yours, Piglet. Mine just sort of g g g grayish one. Yes, that's what I can see. It's coming over to my side. Come on, stick, stick, stick. Are you sure it's me? It's a big gray one. Here it comes. A very big gray. No, 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 it isn't. It's, it's Eeyore. Don't pay any attention to me. Nobody ever does. Eeyore, what are you doing down there? Give you three guesses. Fishing? Wrong. Going for sale? Wrong again. Uh, waiting for somebody to uh, help you out of the river? That's right. Give Rabbit the time, and he'll get the answer. He's going round and round! If I decide to practice the slight movement from right to left, or left to right, it's nobody's business but my own. Eeyore, where can we... I mean, how sh 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 should we... Uh, you think if, if we... Yes, one of those will be... Just a thing.
Thank you, Piglet. I've got an idea, but I don't suppose it's a very good one. I don't suppose it is. Uh, go on, Pooh. Let's have it. Well, if we all threw stones and things into the river on one side of the yaw, the stones would make waves, and the waves would wash them to the other side. Oh, oh yeah. That's a very good idea. I'm glad we thought of it, Pooh. Uh, Pooh? Oh, Piglet, Piglet, give Pooh a little more room. Get back in there, Roo. Uh, I, I think it looks to the left, Pooh. Uh, uh, no, no, to the right, yes. Eeyore, could you stop turning around for a moment? Because it muddles me rather. I like turning, especially round. Uh, Pooh, when I say now, you can drop it. Uh, Eeyore, when I say now, Pooh will drop the stone. Uh, are you ready? Ready. Uh, one, uh, let me see, uh, it's two, uh, now! No! Oh dear, perhaps it wasn't such a very good idea after all. There he is! <laughs> You're all wet! That happens when you've been in a river a long time, Piglet. How did you fall in, Eeyore? I was bounced. Did somebody push you? Somebody bounced me. I was thinking by the side of the river, minding my own business, when I received a loud bounce. But who did it? I expect it was Tigger. Eeyore, was it... Tigger? <laughs> Hello, Robert! Tigger, what happened just now? Yeah, just when? When you bounced Eeyore into the river. Well, I didn't bounce him. He bounced me. Oh, I didn't really. Uh, I, uh, well, I, I just had a cough, you see, and I, and I happened to be behind Eeyore, and I said, uh, uh, I said, uh, <laughs> It's all right, Piglet. That's what I call bouncing. I didn't bounce. I coughed. Bouncing or coughing, it's all the same. Oh, no, it's not. That bounced me, Tigger. All I did was cough. You bounced. Coughed. Bounced. Coughed. Excuse me, perhaps I can help. Who said that? It's the narrator. In order to find out what really happened, We'll simply return to the spot where Eeyore was thinking by the side of the river, up at the top of page 245. Here's Eeyore! So he did bounce him! Oh well, it was just a joke. Some people have no sense of humor. Tigger's so thoughtless with his bouncing. Why should Tigger think of me? Nobody else does. Why do you say that, Eeyore? Without question, something was troubling Eeyore. And while his friends puzzled over his unusual behavior, Eeyore followed the stream back to his gloomy spot which became even gloomier than usual. Pathetic. Just as I thought, no better from this side. Nobody minds, nobody cares. Pathetic. Eeyore, what's the matter? you think anything's the matter? You seem so sad. Why should I be sad? It's my birthday, the happiest day of the year. Your birthday? Of course. Can't you see all the presents? No. Can't you see the cake, the candles, the picture? No. Neither can I. Oh. Well, 
many happy returns of the day, Eeyore. Thank you, Pooh. But we can't all. And some of us don't. Can't all what? No gaiety. No song and dance. No here we go round the mulberry bush. But don't worry about me, Pooh. Go and enjoy yourself. I'll stay here and be miserable. With no presents, no cake, no candles. Eeyore, wait right here. Pooh hurried home as fast as he could, when who should he find in front of his house but Piglet? Hello, Paul. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to... Oh, ooh. That is, I was trying to reach the n -n -n knocker. Let me do it for you. But Pooh! I found out what's troubling poor Eeyore. It's his birthday, and nobody has taken any notice of it. And he's very gloomy and, well, whoever lives here certainly takes a long time answering his door. But, 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 but Pooh, isn't this your house? Oh, so it is. Well, let's go in. Hmm, I must get poor Eeyore a present of some sort. Ah, honey, that should do very well. Oh, what are you going to give, Piglet? Couldn't I give it to from b -b 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 both of us? No, Piglet, that would not be a very good plan. I could give Eeyore a balloon. That, Piglet, is a very good idea. Nobody could be uncheered by a balloon. I have one at home. I'll go and get it right now. So off Piglet trotted in one direction. And in the other direction went Pooh with his jar of honey. However, Pooh hadn't gone very far when a very funny feeling began to creep over him. It began at the tip of his nose and trickled all the way down to the soles of his feet, as if someone inside him was saying, Now then, Pooh, time for a little something. So Pooh had a little something, and then he had a little more, and a little more, until he had taken his last lick from the inside of the jar. Now let me see, where was I going? Oh, yes. Eeyore, I was going to... Oh, bother. I must give Eeyore something. I think I shall go see my good friend Owl. Oh, that should do it. The perfect spot. Yes, yes, coming. Pooh! To what do I owe this? Many happy returns of Eeyore's birthday, Owl. Oh, is that what it was? Well, come in, Pooh, come in. You know, that reminds me of the birthday of my great uncle Robert, a portrait of whom you see upon the wall on your right. He had just reached the ripe old age of 103. Although, of course, he would only admit to 97, and we all felt a celebration was in order. So, while Uncle Robert was returning in the late forenoon from a... What are you giving him now? Uh, giving who, Pooh? Eeyore. Oh, Eeyore. <laughs> yes, I... It... What are you giving him, Pooh? I'm giving him this useful pot to keep things in, and I wanted to ask you... A useful pot? Hmm. Evidently, someone has been keeping honey in it. You can keep anything in it. It's very useful like that. And I wanted to ask you... Oh, you ought to write happy birthday on it. That was what I wanted to ask you. My spelling is wobbly. Hmm, very well then. <clears throat> if you please. It's E 
easier if people don't look while I'm writing. There, all finished. What do you think of it? I kept it simple. Just saying happy birthday. It seems like a lot of words. Yes, well, um, actually, uh, of course, I, uh, I wrote a very happy birthday with love from Pooh. Naturally, it takes a good deal of words to say a long thing like that. Oh, I see. Uh, well, thank you, Owl. Eeyore will be most pleased. Oh, I do hope so. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm flying directly over to Christopher Robbins to tell him the news. Many happy returns of Eeyore's birthday, Pedro! Oh, and many happy returns to you too, Owl! <laughs> doesn't like balloons so very much. Good afternoon, Piglet. If it is a good afternoon, which I doubt. Many happy returns of the d -d 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 day. Meaning my birthday. Yes, Eeyore, and I, I've brought you a present. Pardon me, Piglet. My hearing must be going. I thought you said you brought me a present. I did. I've brought you a b -b 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 balloon. <laughs> Balloon? Did you say balloon? Yes, but I'm afraid, oh, I'm very sorry, but when I was running, uh, that is, uh, to bring it, I, I uh, fell down and, and, uh... My balloon? My birthday balloon? Red. My favorite color. How big was it? About as big as m -m -m me. My favorite size. Many happy returns of the day, Eeyore. I've brought you a little present. It's a useful pot, and it's got a very happy birthday with love from Pooh written on it. And it's for putting things in. Like a balloon? Oh, no, Eeyore. Balloons are much too big to go into a... So it does. Eeyore, I'm very glad that I thought of giving you a useful pot to put things in. And I'm very glad I thought of giving you something to put in a useful p -p 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 pot Many happy returns, Eeyore. <gasps> Hooray! Bravo! Bravo! Good show! This reminds me of the party we once gave my great uncle Robert. He had just reached the ripe old age of 103, though of course he would only admit to 97. So we had to instruct the guests to pretend that he... Hello! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Not... <laughs> Tigger! Hello, Tigger! We're having a party! A party? <laughs> oh boy, a party! Oh, Tiggers love parties! Oh, and cake! Oh, <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve showing up here after what you did to Eeyore. Hmm. Well, I think Tigger should leave. Oh, 
what do you think, Christopher Robin? I think... I think we all ought to play poo sticks. Poo sticks? Oh, boy! <laughs> That's what tinkers do best! So they gathered on the old wooden bridge and played the game for many contented hours. And Eeyore, who had never played it before, won more times than anyone else. But poor Tigger won none at all. Brrr, tiggers don't like poo sticks. Let's play again. We must go home now, dear. It's past your bedtime. Gee, do we have to? I'm not tired. Come along. Uh, I think uh, uh, we should all be going. Yes, quite right. Congratulations, Eeyore. It's been a delightful party. Thank you all. Tigger, I'd be happy to tell you my secret for winning at Poo Sticks. Uh, you would? It's very easy. You just have to let your stick drop in a twitchy sort of way. Oh yeah, I forgot to twitch. That was my problem. <laughs> Bounced again. Tigger's all right, really. Of course he is. Everybody is, really. That's what I think. But I don't suppose I'm right. Of course you are, silly old bear. Brain, he certainly found quite a lot of excitement. Who? Oh, oh, me? Oh, I'm just looking for some honey. Do you happen to have any honey? I'm sorry, Pooh, I don't. But I do have four classic stories in the Hundred Acre Wood. With you, and Tigger, and Eeyore, and Christopher Robin. You're all so much fun. Exactly. Well, actually, Mr. Narrator, I'm rather hungry. I do almost anything to fill my tummy. Sounds familiar, Pooh. Did you forget in Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, you take to the air when your honey pot is bare? I shall fly like a bee. Up to the honey tree, see? Then, it's a windy day in the Hundred Acre Wood in the Academy Award winning Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day. Now that's when I saved poor little Piglet and everybody for a party. Just for me. You are our hero! And you remember Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too? Hello, Pooh! Oh, drink, drink. What is that song that Tigger's always singing? The wonderful thing about Tigger is Tigger's a wonderful thing! The chops are made of the river! The bottoms are made of the spring! The bouncy, trouncy, 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 fun, 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 fun! Uh, but the most wonderful thing about Tigger is I'm the only one! Oh, yes! Now is the time we all try to take the bounce out of Tigger! Uh, don't be ridiculous! It didn't work out really well. <laughs> that is, not as well as Eeyore's birthday party. That's right. In Winnie the Pooh and a day for Eeyore, Eeyore thinks everyone's forgotten his birthday. Nobody cares. But you and your friends prove him wrong with a surprise party. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm sure kids of all ages will really have fun sharing these adventures with you, Pooh, and all your friends from the Hundred Acre Wood. Quite friendly! There's one, two, three, four. Lots of honey? <laughs> no, four Winnie the Pooh storybook videos. <laughs> There's nothing more fun than collecting all four. <laughs> Except collecting honey, of course. TTFN, 